Jim McClue, live on Facebook, just for you, dinky-doo. This is the second of our live Facebook shows, so I hope you're going to enjoy it. We're here as long as you can be bothered with it, and um, tell everybody about this program right now. So, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, live on Facebook, just for you, dinky-doo. Very, very important. So, if you're watching right now, if you can let me know, uh, get onto your Facebook, make a few comments, and tell me what is what. David Hemmonsley is watching, Callum Slight's watching, Edith Van Dimplebottom is watching, Derek McIntyre's watching, Eddie Freeman, Kelvin Malcolm McGregor, Sandy Pratt, and oh my goodness, the number of people watching you is increasing. And uh, Joe Hickey is watching, Andy Taylor, William Black, Rob Dunn. And oh my goodness me, this is absolutely massive. As I say, folks, this is just the second time we've tried Facebook Live. So there you go. Now, um, I hope I've not got too big a fizzog coming up here. That's the that's the important thing. We don't want too much of that because we want you to be able to be quite comfortable with what's going on. So any of your comments there, Rob Dunn, you're the man. Scotty, thanks for that, Rob. Very, very important. A conversation starter, 10 comments right away. Logan Day is watching in America there. Dinky Do, Scotty McClure, says Stephen Fiona Allen. Evening, Scotty. Evening to you, Fiona. This is fantastic. And uh, Aldo Smith, Davy Purvis, you're on, Scotty. If you can hear me loud and clear, do me, let me know. Thanks for all the kisses, all the wee hearts going across the screen there. That is absolutely fantastic. I'll tell you, I'm just having a quick look. Oh, yes. There we are. I disappeared. I'm back. Don't worry about that. Um, you were all asking about my mittens last week. So I have my mittens with me. Very, very important on a cold evening like it is in the studio here. There you go. The Scotty McClue mitts. <laughs> Dinky do just for you. Now, you've got a job here, folks. You have to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure live on Facebook. This is the big one. It's a global show. So I'm probably talking to the biggest audience I've ever had. And I've had audiences of several million people. Uh, but uh, here we are. So this is absolutely fantastic. It's great to be with you. And we've got a lot to get through tonight, a lot to talk about tonight. So we'll see how long we go. Obviously, we just make the show last a few minutes. We uh, are thinking last week was so successful. It was the first time completely unannounced. So there you are. I've got 30 quid's worth of underwear on, says Edith Van Dimplebottom. Oh, Edith. <laughs> You're making me blush. And uh, who needs radio, says George Raffin. <laughs> Eric Lowe's watching. Lovely to see you. James Fitton's watching. Stuart Weir's watching. Deborah K. Cabela is watching. Try and let me know, guys. <coughs> now see what you've done. Try and let me know where you are um, watching from. Say a big hello to Tina Bruch, says Andrew MacDonald. Oh, Tina Bruch, you can't beat it. The new road over to Tina Bruch. How marvellous was that? Time to get the show on the road, Scotty, says Amanda Jean. Thank you very much, Amanda Jean. I'll just give you a big thumbs up there. Mary Ballantyne, hello, I made it. James Fitton, I'm always watching. Lol, he says, this is great. Laugh out loud. Dinky do, mate, says Jim Clark. Edith is saying, the heat is too big to fit in the toilet. <laughs> Glasgow East, Martin Monaghan, uh, Callum Slight, David Steele, thank you, my lord. Uh, Colin Roger, William Sinclair, Andy Taylor, Brad Yule, nice one, Scotty. You are live to the world. This is tremendous. We're live globally. And, um, oh gosh, 50 comments right away. You shouldn't have any thickheads on here tonight, pal. I'm watching from Newburgh. Is that Newburgh and Fife? Logan's in Indiana. 
Indiana wants me, but I can't go back there. Jerry's in Uddingston, dinky do Scotty from Paisley Brian McWilliams there. Andy McCrory, dinky do from Johnston Scotty. James Fitton is in Cornwall. That's tremendous. I, I likes to know you're there, James, you know, because I likes Cornwall. I don't know where you heard tell of this show, but you've heard tell of it and you're here with us. And that's fantastic. I say, oh, yes, I. Uh, hello, a big Scotty hello from the big city of Windygates and Fife. Good luck, bud. Oh, that's tremendous. Lawrence is in the Isle of Lewis. She's in Stornavy. Hello, how are you getting on? Camera, ha, ooh, ha, ha, match, hey, Lawrence. And uh, Freddie Finlay is in Perth. Stu Brenny hasn't told us. Joe Hickey's in Falkirk. Stu, oh, Stu has told us. I am in Glasgow, he says. Kevin Kerr and Babs from Kennaway in Fife. You're a top bloke, Scotty. Uh, I know from, from when you worked at EMAP, says James. Yes, absolutely. I used to work at EMAP. I've worked at 35 radio stations throughout the UK. And to me, UK radio is wonderful. But what's happening at the moment, they're kind of resting on their laurels, I feel. And they're just getting young people in to put in a playlist of the same Half a dozen, few songs, round it goes, jukebox, jukebox radio. Where's the personalities? Where are all the eccentrics that we used to tune into the radio to listen to? Well, your answer, right here, live on Facebook, I am your man. I'm not saying I'm an eccentric, right? I'm not saying that. I'm not actually saying that. Do you like the mitts? They've got the mitts, you want a quick prayer with the mitts on? No problem. Sorted. Steph McElheron's watching. <laughs> Jordan of Inversnecke, how I, nice up to hear that you're up there in Inverness now, Jordan. That's marvellous. I'm just having a wee look here, folks. I've got the screen up as well from the Facebook. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, uh, oh, that was another Irish accent there. What are you about, you little man there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Paul Mungle, I'm off to bed. Night, night, Paul, bye-bye. Uh, can you say hello to my friend Anita, please? Yes, we can. Uh, Freddie Finlay from Scott FM, Edinburgh here remembers radios now, massively centralised crap with no personality. What a thing to say. Definitely need to turn in up at 4am. Can't wait for the next one, says Kelvin Malcolm McGregor. Kevin Malcolm McGregor, he is. he's a Kilmarnock man. He supports Kilmarnock and then um, I would imagine he rings up just to check when the kickoff is. There's Gordon, who's in the big hoose, HMP, Scotty, Timbuk, too loud and clear, says Willie Black, Andrew Gill's watching, couldn't agree more, radio's become monotonous and very samey, all channels play the same tracks all day. Scotty, can you give a shout out to my son Cameron Steele, says David Steele, I've told him he'll learn a lot from you, lol, just like I did. Yes, information, education, entertainment. That's what Scotty McClue is about just for you, dinky-doo. Now, the first thing, let's get a few rules straight. No swearing, please, because we are guests in people's houses throughout the world. So we don't want to say that we are a bunch of swearers, foul-mouthed people who have a limited vocabulary. That would be unacceptable. So, no swearing, I say. Very, very important. Also, um, can you follow Scotty McClue on Twitter? We have a massive Twitter account. We're on Facebook with several pages. So look up Scotty McClue, go and like the pages, spread the word, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue on Facebook Live, Sunday nights, 10 o'clock sharp. We also need to talk about does the time actually suit you because you are the viewers, you are the people, you are the ones who are important. I sometimes wish that the BBC did the same for its licence payers and said, guys, you run the show, you tell us what you want. Quite nice. Uh, although I saw a nice job coming up at the BBC, the controller of BBC Scotland. So should old McClue stick an application in? Mm, what do you think? 30 years experience, television and radio, entertainment, information, education. I am your man. Linked, of course, to uh, the late John Reith, the man who started it all in 1922 with a staff 
of four. Did you know that? The BBC was the British Broadcasting Company and it had a staff of four. It had a managing director, or a manager, I should say, a general manager. That was John Reith from Glasgow, and uh, who was knighted at the age of 37, I think. Not bad. And um, he had a secretary, there was a programme controller and an engineer, four of them. And of course there were shares in it. I think there was half a dozen companies. One of them was Metro Vickers in Manchester. Could you imagine owning a sixth of the BBC? Ooh, when do you cash in?